big question for today is, why do Catholics give up meat on Fridays? This is a, a really good question, um, and it's something that sometimes we should ask these things. Why do we do what we do? Um, the, the, the reality is that, you know, meat back in the day, hundreds of years ago, was a major delicacy. We, we might take it for granted today we can get meat so easily at the supermarket, just so easy to get. But in the day, like it was, it was meant for a great celebration. And you even have like in the prodigal son, when the son leaves his father, squanders everything that he has, um, and he comes back and returns to his father, they celebrate by slaughtering a fattened calf and by celebrating with, uh, uh, with a great meal, with, with good meat, with the best of meat that's been prepared for a long time. So it's meant for a celebration, right? And so why Friday then is a, is, a, is a good question. Friday, because that's the day of Jesus's passion. That's the day that Jesus uh, suffered and died on the cross. Um, that's the day throughout Lent that we're trying to remember um, and, and, uh, and remind ourselves of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. And so what's the purpose of giving up meat, something great? What's the purpose of giving up things in Lent? What's the purpose of of giving up um, something good, it's to train ourselves. It, it's to not only kind of unite ourselves with Jesus' suffering on, on the Fridays of Lent, but it's also to train ourselves in the spiritual discipline. If I can say no to something good, it's, it trains me, it strengthens my spiritual muscles to say, things, say no to things that aren't so good. Yeah, that's a great point. And it's also important, like, as Catholics, that we do things together. You know, we should give things up together, not just individual things. So that's something we share in every Friday, which is really as well. It might be a little sacrifice, but like Deacon Mike said, it could, it could help us say no to other things.